Thank you, Nana, for being here. Really, it's a special day today, and yeah, I is. love your poem. Thank you very much. Mama. Yeah. But you have writer's erection. Erect means reloaded. Hey. Relax, calm down. <laughs> like seriously on a yeah. holiday. Uh huh. Okay, but tell us a, a bit more about right it. Right direction is reloaded. Okay. Right direction is reloaded is the third in the mental picture series, which is an annual night of literary readings and performances I instituted three years ago. And this year, we are still saying there is nothing like a writer's block. We just have writer erections. The blank page is the basis of our creativity, Mama. We don't take me too far. Anything that comes from the mind as a mental picture and elevate itself beyond the blank page, be it a blob of ink, the stroke of a brush, call it a protrusion, call it a structure. I choose to call it an erection. So the fact that you don't have anything to write about is in itself something to write about. Mm. Write our erections reloaded. But it's amazing. What inspires you? I'm inspired by so many things. But essentially, when you find your tongue, what I mean by when you find your tongue is when you find what your strength is. Mm -hmm. You can talk about anything, yeah. and then it's your voice that makes it unique. You realize that I can talk about skyscrapers to children down there in Yamikrim where I run my project, and they'll get a sense of what it is. I can meet a group of New Yorkers and tell them about Atakpami buildings, and they'll still see one and be able to identify it. Once you have common place with anybody, you draw inspiration. You can turn inspiration on and off just like that. Mm. That is how it works for me. Mm. Yeah. And I love the, part, the, the fact that you're speaking to him. I mean, when you look at him, what do you... Anytime I look at Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, I see a prophecy which was in motion, but unfortunately it was cut off too early before it could have its fullest manifestation. And as a writer, he holds a lot for me in reality and as a metaphor. I see Nkrumah as the metaphor of Africa. He was cut off too short, just like Africa's dreams have been cut off too short in certain directions. We need a little bit more of force, like what he represented. You can feel the power in his fist. Look at that picture there. You can just feel the power in his fist. You can feel that determination, which I feel is a bit lacking among African leaders at these, in these times in addressing relevant social issues. For me, Nkrumah holds that. As a writer, I aspire to be the best in what I do, put Ghana back on a literary map when the older generation is faded. Mm. That is what Dr. Nkrumah really holds for yeah. me. Because it's on the ends of old robes that new ones are woven. Did you go to school to just learn how to write? Did I go to school to learn how to write? Right from senior high school, I told them I just wanted to read literature in English. If they were not going to give me literature in English, I was going to change my class. <laughs> and so I went to school to read literature in English. I got yeah. to the university and I knew I wanted to be in the creative writing class. I, I knew what I wanted to do. But I didn't assume it to take on these proportions yeah. this early in my life but I'm so glad that is it difficult encouraging them. young ones to take up writing it is a beautiful thing to see young ones so eager to take up writing because when you start with them at an early age you realize children learn a lot at play so you're playing with them actually mm. and then you relate to them you take the writing to them at the play level you don't go to them with all your intellectual yeah. terminologies and all of that so it's a very encouraging process though it's a bit tedious yeah it's, it's very worth it when you see the smile on your face it's yeah I'm, I'm just wondering why writer erection why writer erections <laughs> okay so everybody's talking about the writer's block from journalists so nowadays we don't read too many good stories in the papers mm. line up all the journalists let us trigger writer erections in them and you realize there'll be a different thing in the way they put out their stories mm. once the writer is short of ideas then mediocrity flies in our newsrooms there is pressure actually give me a press release in 20 minutes no writing is not that mechanical if you treated writing as more of a spiritual activity more of a relaxer then you realize that you'd be at your peak so on let direction. me get you okay you you're saying that there's mm -hmm. some some fall play before you know okay so is, is that what you're saying hold on <laughs> sabbatically speaking <laughs> sabbatically speaking your mind needs to be jogged so that it can shoot out all the things you really want to put out. Okay. But it needs to be done right. That yeah. is what the right direction is about. Okay. Just come and see creativity. We're actually bridging three, three generations of Ghana's literary history on stage with a blend of dance, music, poetry, painting, and all of that. So you have too much variety to pick from to tell me you have a writer's block. There is too much to yeah. see from color to sound. You get what I mean? Yeah. So we're just there so to when, trigger your creative sense. Yeah. When is this taking place? Tonight okay. at the College of Physicians and Surgeons at 5 p.m. Yeah. Who is invited? Everybody is How invited. How young can they be? To How be young there? can they be? Well, we do not run 
PG, so everybody's invited. Okay. It's a very clean show. Okay. Don't be, don't be deceived by, by the title. No, not at all. Okay. Nothing That's really good. Out. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, um, take something from the physicians and surgeons mm -hmm. uh, where you are holding this event okay. this evening okay. and take us away. Close my show for me. It's a beautiful holiday Monday. All right. From the physicians and surgeons, there are these great columns in there. Anytime I've walked into that space, I feel like I'm in this edifice. So let me carry you away on big mansions. Spontaneous. Okay. We walk into the embrace of time, like the columns at the gates of no return. History is what we leave behind with our footsteps too hot to be covered by wind, by time, by space, whatever you will. We walk through the columns of history, this one's. I will take my time to scribble my name on there. The chance you might come after me and find it appealing. But even if you do not, look at the great columns I left behind and enter my mansions of legacy. Such beautiful feet I have to have left legacy. Demonstrations, democracy, demo. It might have been a demonstration, but then it would only be of greatness. That is how I choose to be remembered when I have passed through those columns of time. That's great talent right there. That's great talent right there. And I want to say thank you really for grazing our show today. That's our show. That's the AM show. Join us tomorrow. We will be on definitely on Tuesday. My name is Mama Vyoswabwaja. I was here with Roland Walker. Enjoy the rest of our program.